Hi, I'm Jason Zuccheri, and I'm your student body president. And on behalf of the Student Government Association, I want to welcome you to WVU. Now let's, now let's hear it from the keeper of this house, Huggins House, Coach Bob Huggins. You know, they didn't bring me here to inform you or lecture or preach to you. I just want to congratulate you for making the best decision that you've ever made in your life come to school here. I went, I was, best five years of my life, absolutely the best five years of my life I spent here, and I've been very fortunate in my life. I've, I've been all over the world, I've been in every state, I've, I've, I've been very, very fortunate to do what I've done, and it's because of the education and the people that I met here. And I don't know if you all ever saw the movie, uh, what is it, 17 again? I'd trade it all to be sitting where you're sitting. Have a great time. Thanks, Coach. Let's give him another round of applause. So, I'm a senior now, and it seems like only yesterday I was sitting in your guys' shoes. You have a lot to look forward to, and you're joining a community that's so large and diverse enough that you can explore any interest you have, but tighten it enough that you always feel right at home. Today is a start of so much for you. The best way to get started is to find your place here on campus, getting involved in campus life. We have hundreds of student organizations uh, representing any almost imaginable interest you have from snowboarding club to stand-up comedy. We have fraternities, sororities, student government, academic honoraries, club sports, and much more. Our Center for Civic Engagement can help you start changing the world through service opportunities. And for the first time today after convocation, you can buy a Gold Rush t-shirt um, and all the proceeds will benefit the great work the Center for Civic Engagement does every day by benefiting our local United Way. And on the Colorado game, we want everyone to wear the shirts, the gold shirts, for a Gold Rush on a Thursday night. Your professors can help you find internships and research opportunities that will prepare you for a successful career. I know that's a lot to think about right now when your biggest concern is probably trying to find your first class tomorrow. Don't worry, getting off to a strong start at WVU is important. And fortunately, you have faculty and your always helpful resident leaders to help you whenever you have questions. Mom and dad aren't here anymore, but many friends, mentors, and new friends will help you. Now I'd like to introduce someone who knows a lot about making those important connections on campus. Please give me a big round of applause for Cassie Warner, the director of the Maniacs. Good afternoon. Hey. <laughs> I want to talk to you all today about Mountaineer traditions. Generations of WVU students have come, before, have come before you and created many lasting traditions. And I'm sure over your few years here, you'll create some new ones. Some of my favorites include the game day cheers, lighting of Woodburn Circle for the holidays, and our annual speaker series, Festival of Ideas. But there's another tradition here that I'd like to explain a little more in depth. And that's the tradition of the Mountaineer. That's right. Today, you are all officially Mountaineers. But for those of you that are from out of state or even out of the country, you may not know exactly what that means. To West Virginians, Mountaineer represents all of the great characteristics of our state and its people. The Mountaineers were our state's first settlers. They were independent, loyal, hardworking people that pioneered this land. They built their homes and they constructed our state's future in our hills and mountains. 
To WVU students and alumni, a Mountaineer is somebody, anybody, who's attended this great institution. To your future employers and colleagues, Mountaineers and WVU grads represent intelligence, integrity, honor, hard work, loyalty, and above all else, the courage to create your own path and not just follow in someone else's footsteps. That's why since the 1930s, the Mountaineer has been the mascot and has represented West Virginia University. At sporting events and at community events, the mascot is the face of WVU. At this time, I'd like to represent our current Mountaineer, Rebecca Durst, who will lead us in a cheer that I'm sure you will hear many times during your time here at WVU. Rebecca? divide you up right here okay to my left you guys are let's go to my right what are Mountaineers okay this is your first big test are you ready here we go on three let me hear you Okay? You've all got one. I see them. <laughs> Beat Liberty. I heard it over here. All right. See you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Now I'd like to introduce to you two people that you may see around campus who have certainly made the most of their time here. Please welcome Jeremy Booker and Emily Kaiser. Good afternoon, I'm Emily. And I'm Jeremy Booker. Today we're gonna talk to you a little bit about the opportunities you're gonna get. Um, it's amazing to me you now and think about all of the incredible things that in the past four years. Um, the opportunity. Is this working? No. How about this one? I don't want you to miss a minute of my speech. <laughs> okay, so over the past four years, I've had some incredible opportunities at West Virginia had the opportunity to study with some of the most amazing academics in their respective professions. I've been able to travel all over the world, and I've been able to live and learn with some amazing peers, not only from the state of West Virginia, but from across the country and across the globe. But for me, the most important opportunity that I've had while at WVU was the opportunity to really discover who I was and who I wanted to be. I began college four years ago, I'm sure like many of you, with absolutely no idea of what I wanted to do. I knew that I very generically wanted to help people, but who I was going to help and how I was going to help them was a complete mystery. So I started out in chemistry. I'll be a doctor in third world countries. That's a great way to help people. Well, a year later, I knew, or rather I prayed, that there had to be another way, because chemistry just wasn't cutting it. So then I decided, I'll try Spanish, and I went over to the foreign language department. Well, after a summer study abroad where the highlight of my day was ordering a muffin from the only woman in the city who would tolerate my subpar Spanish, 
I realized Spanish probably wasn't it either. I thought after that, I'll do international studies. I'll be a diplomat. That's another great way to help people, right? Well, a summer internship with the Organization of American States in Washington, D.C. killed that dream as well. So finally, I was like, OK, I'm going to try development. That sounds like something I might like. Started taking different classes, more economics, some politics of developing economies courses. And then the next summer, I had the amazing and life-changing opportunity to participate in a research project in sub-Saharan Africa with Dr. McCusker from our very own geography department. The moment my feet hit African soil, I knew that I had found my place. That was it for me. So after, over the course of the summer, studying um, the relationship between land use, income, and poverty, I had found a new major, economics, my career, development in sub-Saharan Africa, and I had also discovered a lot about myself. Now. You're all asking, what is the point of this rather long narrative about my college career? The point is, is that like me, you're going to get a lot of opportunities at West Virginia University. You just need to make the most of them. Here at WVU, again, I've had the opportunity to study any major I thought I could possibly want. I've been able to travel the world. Um, and I've been able to make mistakes. Even better, I was able to learn from those mistakes. And most importantly, I was able to be independent and to discover who I was away from the pressures of who people wanted me to be. Now, you're all lucky enough that in addition to West Virginia University helping you discover who you are, this university will also help you be who you want to be. When I got back from Africa, I knew that I wanted to go again. And thanks to the guidance and support of my mentors and professors, they helped me find a way to get back there. And in January, I leave for Uganda, where I can continue my lifelong quest of helping someone somewhere. Now, for the advice portion of the speech. If I could give you any advice for your next four years, it's to not be afraid. Don't be afraid of not knowing what to do. Just do it. Don't be afraid of changing. Because after all, that's the point of college. And most importantly, don't be afraid of the unknown. Because it's often in the unknown that you find out the most about yourself. Let WVU and all of the amazing faculty, staff, and services that they'll provide you guide you on your own path to self-discovery and your path to the greatness that you're destined for. Thank you. We also wanted to give you guys a heads up about the opportunities that are here, that are available to you to help you succeed here at WVU. Things to open up doors in life that, to things that you never dreamed imaginable. The complexity and ingenuity of things has always amazed me. It's always fascinated me. The things around me, I always wanted to know how things work. So ever since I was a child, I wanted to be an engineer. When I was in high school, I began attending a program here at WVU called the Engineers of Tomorrow. The summer program helped to mentor high school students and guide them to a technical career path. Although I had my mind set on engineering, I didn't know exactly what field of study interested me the most. Well, the program helped, make me, or helped me make these decisions on what college to attend, and I decided to attend WVU. Since then, I've been studying petroleum engineering, and I will be graduating soon. You guys need to remember to use the resources available to you. There are a bunch of uh, study groups and, and study labs and things to help you succeed, make things easier for you. It's good that you do these things because it will make your upper level courses easier on you later in college. There's a bunch of faculty here that I liked, that I networked with, and people that I networked with, and these are things that you guys should do to help put you in the best situation to achieve your goals that you're trying to do here while in school. We all have goals, that's why you're here now. If you didn't have goals, you wouldn't be in college. Uh, excuse me. As well, you guys have, you need to use your resources with each other as well. Network through your friends and everything. Don't be afraid to meet people because you help each other succeed in college. All you have to do is remember to be proactive with your work 
and you'll have a great experience here at Dove VU. Now, to share more, uh, please welcome the well WU's most well-known and most enthusiastic uh, <laughs> chair of philosophy, Dr. Sharon Ryan. Excuse me. Thank you. I doubt I'm the most well-known, but I, I appreciate the, the, uh, the idea of that. Uh, Emily, I, I think you should have maybe thrown a little philosophy in there. Then you would have really found a, a, a great major. Um, on behalf of the faculty at West Virginia University, I just want to thank you for choosing West Virginia University. I think, like Bob Huggins said, you've made a fantastic choice. WVU excels and stands out from other very good schools with its cutting edge research while also getting a strong devotion to student success. I wish you the best, and I hope that you take full advantage of all the school has to offer. I'm here to offer five basic tips from the faculty to help you succeed at West Virginia University. But before I do that, it's time for your first, no, whoo, the Mountaineer gave you your first test. Here's your second test. I'm a philosophy professor. Usually in a philosophy class, questions have many answers. And the fun part of philosophy is trying to sort through the many different possibilities. I'm going to give you an unusual philosophy test. There's one and only one answer. You'll be judged according to the accuracy of your answer, but also the volume of your answer. I'm here to test how much school spirit this freshman class really has. I saw a pretty good showing with Let's Go Mountaineers. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you, what do you want to do at WVU? And the answer is, think, think, think. Do you think you can get that? Last year's class made the scoreboard shake. Do you think you can beat last year's freshman class? I think you can do it. I think you can do it. All right, you ready? I'm ready for the question. What do you want to do at West Virginia University? Think, think, think. All right, that's pretty good. I think you win the test. Okay, and now on to the serious part of my presentation. I have five main points to share with you. Faculty members at WVU have the best job in the world. We not only get to teach about what we are passionate about, but we get to research, discover, and create all of that. The faculty at West Virginia University are eager to open your minds and change your lives. Are you ready for that? Yeah! OK. I want to talk about what it means to be cool. In high school, which is ancient history for you. It may have been cool to look bored and disinterested in class, but as you can see now from the think, 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 we're looking for students who are eager to learn, to investigate, and to explore. Yeah. I want to explain how the faculty at West Virginia University are going to be looking at you from the first day you walk into their class tomorrow. We don't see you as high school kids. We see you as future journalists, future engineers, future scientists, lawyers, poets, physicians, and of course, philosophers. We're going to really push you. We're going to expect the highest from you. This is a wonderful institution, and we are going to make sure that you get the most of it. As you set foot on this campus, as you walk out the door today, I want you to check something at the door and leave it behind. Many of you have been defined by your families, by your schools, by yourselves in a certain way. If that way limited you in any way from achieving your greatest potential, put it behind you. Not so many people know you right now. This is a rare opportunity in a lifetime to reinvent yourself to set your own goals, to make your own dreams, to decide who you want to be. Take full advantage of this. It's never going to happen again in life in the way that it's happening to you right now. 
This is an awesome place. You're fortunate to be here for four years. Not everybody gets to go to college. It's a special place. It's a large school. As you've already heard from the other speakers, there's so many opportunities for you to find new friends, to develop interests, to find new interests. There's so many great minds here. You'll never get the opportunity again to run into. Take, it, take full advantage of this. The things that are going to distract you from making the best of your college experience, I promise you, they're going to be there after you graduate from college. They'll be waiting for you. But some of the opportunities that you have here will not be here. It's a big school. Find places to fit in and be comfortable and be happy. Find places to stand out. And finally, make your dreams come true. Thank you very much, and I, I wish you all the greatest success. And I'd like, to, I'd like to turn it over now to student athletes who've really made a great, great time of West Virginia University, Liz Propella and Tim Field. Welcome to West Virginia University and your next big step in life. You have made a great decision to join the Malinaire family. Here at WVU, everything is at your fingertips. A fantastic education, the making of lifelong friends, nationally ranked athletic teams, and a support system that encourages you, encourages you to succeed, not only academically, but socially. Campus life here at WVU is an amazing experience. You will meet and interact with a diverse mix of students and faculty from different states and countries who have all come to Morgantown to experience the unique feeling of being a Mountaineer. Our athletic teams compete at the highest levels for national and conference championships. As a, ch as a student, you will receive free admission to all WVU sporting events where you can experience the excitement and pride of rooting on your Mountaineers. So I encourage you to support all of our teams. Historically, the student body has been the main ingredient for our success. I am sure your class will continue the tradition of our passionate student fan base. So in closing, just sit back, take a deep breath, strap yourself in, and get ready to enjoy a great ride called the Mountaineer Experience. It starts today when you walk out of the Coliseum and lasts for the rest of your life. Good afternoon. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm not a native West Virginian. My name is Tim Field and I'm a rising senior from Narrabeen, Sydney, Australia. When I was first approached to swim for the Mountaineers, I was nervous. A beach kid from a different country asked to move to the mountains away from friends and family. As I stand here today, I can easily say that choosing WU was one of the best decisions I ever made. True, it wasn't easy First, when I first arrived. Meeting my freshman roommate was an experience. Our only conversation prior to moving day was through Facebook and email. So imagine my shock when I stood at the door of my dorm room and saw a six foot six kid making his bed. I was intimidated, but just like everyone else I, f I met the first week, we soon became fast friends. Another challenge I faced upon arriving in Morgantown was the pressure of balancing my schoolwork with both swim practice and social life. Thankfully, my coaches and professors were very supportive. As a landscape architect major, my free time is often consumed with drawings and design. My professors have always been there, willing to help whenever I called upon them. My learning outcomes have definitely exceeded my expectations. By far, one of the greatest gifts I've received so far from WVU is my team. Their friendship and endless support is priceless. Through ups and downs, we've met challenges head on. With my teammates' support, I've become a stronger person and I've developed the ability to adapt changes. While most of you will not be on a WVU athletic team during your four years at college, you each have the opportunity to form your own team of friendship. You will meet so many people while in Morgantown and each will be different and unique. These friends will not only help you adjust to life as a college student, but also will make you become a stronger person and your support system. Take advantage of every opportunity thrown your way while at WVU. Being a Mountaineer is a lifetime experience. Now with just one year standing between me and my college degree, I can easily say making that 20 hour plane trip from the beach of Australia to the mountains of West Virginia was the right decision that has led to an unbelievable journey. Let's go Mountaineers.
Thank you, Tim and Liz. We have one more person here today to offer you advice. Dr. Jim Clements is WVU's 23rd president, and he is new here just like you. However, he has a lot of experience in university life, and we're proud that Dr. C has come to WVU. Let's give him a big Mountaineer welcome, Dr. Clements. Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing out there? All right. Thank you, Jason. For all of you, welcome to West Virginia University. We are glad you are here. I want to start by saying this. We think you made a great choice. We also think we made a great choice when we picked you. We picked you because we believe, what you, we believe that you have what it takes to be successful. We believe in you. Uh, before I start, and I'm only going to take a couple minutes, I want to thank all of today's speakers for talking from the heart about what, it, what life like a freshman will be like at WVU. Let me say this, they are very symbolic of the many people you're going to meet here, many students, many faculty, many staff who are here to help you. We want you to succeed. We don't want you to drop out. We want you to finish your degree. They're going to help you all the way through. Can you uh, join me in thanking this great group and give them another round of applause? Let me also take a minute to um, recognize, and I know she's probably not going to like that I'm going to do this, uh, Carolyn Long, Chair of the Board of Governors. Carolyn, would you please stand? She helps us oversee the university, and she does a great job. Carolyn, thanks for helping me and the others with what we do. Also want to thank, though I don't think he is here, and recognize Dr. Nigel Clark. Did he make it in? No? Okay. I do want to thank our great student body president, Jason Zakari, who is the president of our student body, but also one of my bosses as a member of the Board of Governors. Jason, would you please stand for a second? Get to know him. He is a very good guy. I also want to point out my fellow faculty members, chairs, deans, and administrators who are with us today in this little corner. Thank you for all you do. We appreciate it. In the years ahead, we're going to be on a journey together. I'm new to the Mountaineer family. This summer, as Jason said, I became the 23rd president of WVU, and I'm still trying to find my, my way around just like you are. You know, but you know what? I already love it. I've been here for like six weeks. This is a great place, and you are going to love it too. My family and I have been overwhelmed. The people in Morgantown, the people in West Virginia are so incredibly nice. There's so much community spirit. We're going to be here for a very, very long time, uh, and we're looking forward to that. I want you to know this. It's not uncommon for you right now as freshmen. You might feel a little nervous, a little apprehensive, but you know what? You're going to feel right at home, and it's not going to take long at all. It's going to happen faster than you think. Let me say this, WVU is a great university, one of the greatest universities in this country. And as I mentioned earlier, you made a great choice. You picked us and we picked you. Universities are often known by the quality of their students. And I can tell you I am very proud of your outstanding academic credentials. As a group, you are very bright and you will do well. There are several students that I do want to point out. Two students that we have this year scored perfect scores on the ACT exam. Only 69 students in the entire country did that last year. We have two of them right here at WVU, Jonathan Turner and David Webb. You're out there somewhere. We're glad you are with us. There you go. I do know that many universities, many, many tried to attract these too, but they believe, like you believe, WVU is the best place to get a quality education and to have a great future, and it will happen. Each of you made the decision. We're confident you made the right one. Let me take a minute to brag about some of my uh, colleagues on the faculty. You're going to learn we have outstanding faculty members here, highly, highly dedicated. As Professor Ryan mentioned a little earlier, being a faculty member, being a professor, is the best job in the world, and it is. Our faculty members love it, and you can see it, you can feel it in the classroom, and they love what they're doing because they, they positively affect and change lives every single day. You will be some of those people they will positively affect. The, the faculty members that you're gonna find here will inspire you. They're gonna motivate you, maybe even some of you to become a professor or to, to do other great things. I'll tell you this, we're stacked with great faculty members. You will find some of the best minds in the world 
on our staff right here in Morgantown. I could give you hundreds of examples, literally hundreds, but I know you don't want to hear hundreds. I'm going to give you a few. We have faculty members like physics professors, Dr. Duncan Lormore and Dr. Laura McLaughlin, who are studying pulsars from West Virginia's Green Bank Telescope, the most technically advanced single dish radio telescope in the entire world. But you know what's cool? One of their undergraduate students helped them make a major discovery uh, last year. That was them working with a student. We also have faculty members like Dr. Ruth Kirshner, who recently won a national award for health education. As a professor of com uh, community medicine and a substance abuse awareness educator, she reaches thousands, literally thousands of young people like you every day and every year through open, honest discussions. Like many w WVU professors and students, she has a global vision, and we want you to have a global vision. It's just more than being right here. We want you to think globally. She has served in multiple countries, and I have to brag about my colleague to the right, uh, Professor Sharon Ryan, who is with us today. You met, she's the one trying to get you to think, 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 and you will. I want you to know this, she's the only philosophy professor in the entire country who was featured in Sports Illustrated. That's pretty cool. Your professors will be your mentors, but you have to get to know them. Get to know them. Learn from them. They will teach you. They will help shape you. They will introduce you to new ideas, open doors, and show you new opportunities. They want to see your enthusiasm for learning, and they want to help you prepare for success. They've already done this for thousands and thousands of students before you, but we want them to do it for the 4,800 in this room. I want to talk a minute about some of our students. We have truly outstanding students. Universities are often judged by their student body, as I said earlier. We have great students. I want to give you a couple examples. We have a young man by the name of Andrew Higgins, who conducts advanced research right here at WVU. But because of his research, he just started a company. His company won a recent business plan competition, and they're developing high-quality research instruments. He captured the nation's highest award for science students by being named a Goldwater Scholar. That's good for all of us when that happened. I want to mention a young man by the name of John Armour. John Armour received the Truman Scholarship, the most prestigious national award for service for his work as the president of WVU's Habitat for the Humanity. And I want to mention a local student from Morgantown High School, Emily Calandrelli, one of our very, very best. She conducts research at NASA. She studied abroad in Turkey. She helped to build a greenhouse for a family in Mexico. She interned for a U.S. congressman and distinguished herself by winning two national scholarships, the Goldwater Scholarship and the Truman Scholarship, and appeared on USA Today's first all-American academic team. That's a big deal. She's one of us. Um, as I sit here today, I, think, I want you to think about what you can do in 10 years and what you need to do now to get ready for that future. You are the future leaders future nurses, future doctors, future politicians. We're counting on you. We put our trust in you. We need you to work hard. We need you to be successful. I want to take one minute, uh, and I will wrap it up uh, in a second or two. I want to talk about our graduates. If you think about a great university, you look at their graduates. Who's gone through that university? We've had many that have paved the way before you, about 170,000 of them before you. Our alums include the inventor of the cable modem, the basketball legend whose silhouette is on the NBA logo, Jerry West. That's pretty cool. He's the best. The president and CEO of Cisco Corporation. The president and CEO of Bayer Corporation. The director of White House Communications for former President Bill Clinton. The past president of the American Medical Association. The musical composer for Star Trek, The Next Generation and many other television and film projects. A four-star general who commanded U.S. Air Forces in Europe. And my all-time favorite, at 170,000, one of the most successful college basketball coaches of all time, our very own coach, Bob Huggins. <laughs> By the way, he graduated here with honors uh, from this great university. Let me give you some advice. I'm going to give you a couple parting words of advice. We want you to be successful. We want you to join this list of great alums. Let me give you a couple things. Work hard. Show up for class. Study. 
That's why you're here. It's important. But you got to work hard. We're counting on you. Number two, get involved. Join a club. Join a team. Participate in events on campus. Meet new people. There's 28,500 people you can meet. Meet some new ones. Join a student organization. We have 300 of them, just about anything you can think of. We have a great student body president in Jason Zuccheri. Help him achieve the goals of the students. I can tell you this, students that become involved have greater chances of success, greater graduation rates, greater future. Become involved, become connected. Next, become more globally aware. It's a global world. Consider studying abroad. Meet those students who are coming internationally and take courses that have an international focus. Look for real world opportunities, internships, community service projects. A few last things. Remember to stay in touch with your family. They're thinking about you, they're worried about you. Call them, talk to them, send them text messages. They want to know how things are going. And finally, set big goals for yourselves. You have to think big. You have to believe in yourself. If you do this, no one can stop you. Let, my, let, me, say, let me end by saying this. Take pride in being a mountaineer. You are joining a tradition like no other. Alumni and students alike have told me, wear your gold and blue everywhere you go. Wear your flying WV. It will be recognized around the world, and it would, and it will. It's one of the top logos in the entire country. You've got professors, RAs, faculty leaders, advisors, administrators, counselors, family and friends, all here to help you succeed. Now it's up to you. You won't be able to get these years back. You have to promise me that you're going to work hard from this day forward. You're going to do your best. You're going to try. All right? And don't quit because I want to see you at graduation in a couple, a couple years. Good luck. Let's go Mountaineers. Thank you, Mr. President, and welcome to WVU. We want to present you with your first gold T-shirt. <laughs> 